I almost don't want to add a character anymore. That's what Charleston White said. So let's see what he's talking about. Live long enough. Yeah. So, so how does the man feel about the character? Uh, shit, nigga, I damn near don't want to come out of character now. Nigga, the character is, is, is nigga, the character, because the character done superseded the man. Uh, not, not many people booked me for the man, homie. That's why I was a little leery about y'all. Because most people want the character, and you don't know how they, how they trying to play on the character. Yeah. Because they want to fuck you, bitch, so they be trying to bring conflict to the character. Uh, but yeah, nah, nigga, out of most of my book is, nobody's asking these kind of questions about the man. They want to know about the beast, the online rhetoric, and all of that. So I started realizing, nigga, fuck the man. These niggas want the character. So when I'm amongst my people, they want the character. Because when they meet the man, they say, oh, don't act like you shot now. Don't get quiet now. And I be saying, well, man, I might act like this in real life. And they think, yeah, so most black people want the character. So when black people meet Denzel Washington, they don't want Denzel. He faked it. I mean, like, technically, like, it's, it's like... It's a character, yo, but it's like, it's also him, like, too. It is a character, though, but it's him literally playing a character. And, like, can you, that kind of begs the question, can you turn off the character? Like, are you, can you do that? Like, you have rappers and celebrities and shit like that doing these characters. But can you actually turn it off? You know what I mean? Like, can you do that? Is that even allowed to happen? Can you turn off the character? Are you allowed to go back to just walking around like normal? I, I don't think you can. I feel like that's not how society has been working. I feel like that's why a lot of people have lost their lives and stuff like that because you cannot get out of character once you have created that certain character. If the character fails, that's fine. You can usually get out of it, but if the char character succeeds, but the character is problematic. What comes afterwards is you cannot get out of it. You are stuck as that character now. Especially if your character is villainous. Especially if your character is villainous. Everybody forgets the heroes. Because there will always be more. But people don't remember the villain, villainous ones and they will be after you. But I'm just yapping, bro. Denzel, Denzel, they want training day, Denzel. That's why the rapper can't come out of character because they don't want to know him as the person. They want to know him as the rapper. Yeah, That's why they so. can't do interviews <laughs> no more. Because when you used to sit on uh, Yo MTV raps, you used to have to talk as a person, and your, your character went into the rap videos. Even with Rap City with Tigger in the basement, homie, uh, nigga used to sit down on the couch and talk as players and whatever, and then go in the booth with the character. Now the rapper he's stuck in character. He can't come off stage. So I kind of get it, homie. Uh, so he, nigga, it the okay. character is what people want. Uh, they don't want to get Charleston no pussy. They want to get the character some pussy. They don't give a damn about me. Yeah, they want to fuck the character. Uh, so why would I want to come out of character? Hey, bro, that nigga funny as fuck, bro. I, I can't with this nigga, bro. He's so fucking funny, bro. But it's like just the, the smirky out on his face, bro. Like, yeah, oh, like what? <laughs> Shit, man, yeah. Yeah. So, okay, back back to when you was fourteen. You said you know you and your homeboys had the the murder charges. Yeah, I caught a murder case. Capital yeah. murder. We was charged with capital murder and then sentenced for first degree murder. So. What's the difference between, you know, that and what some of these rappers are doing now? Uh, like, would you consider yourself like a hypocrite? I was a kid, homie. I was a 14-year-old kid. Yeah. I had never been in the streets. I ran away from home, nigga. And we just happened to steal some jackets from the mall. And in the process, took a gun. Uh, I wasn't no street, nigga. I was a kid. Now I just completed sixth grade. Coming from a loving home, nigga, I pray at night. We used to pray like this, nigga, on the side of the bed. That's what kind of kid I was. Nigga, we prayed over every meal. Uh, we just committed we just committed a violent act because the culture was propagating that shit to us. Gangsterism was first introduced to my generation as children. But they used to put parental advisory labels on the, on the tapes. Uh, the, the, the rape culture was first projected to us as kids. Hey, we want some pussy. Me and my homies like to play this game. Some call it Amtrak, but some call it the train. Nigga, 11 year old Damn. listen to running trains. We all would line up in a single file line. We did that. 
she want to fuck just one of us. But we done got her to come over here because the big homies want to fuck her too. Remember how the big homies used to do it, nigga? We all would line up in a single file line and take our turns waxing girls behind. Every time it get to me, I will shit out of luck because I stick my dick in and it will get stuck. I'm reciting these lyrics in the fifth grade, fourth grade. Damn, he remember them too, The girl will say stop, I say I'm not. The girl will say stop, I say I'm not. These are lyrics. The girl will say stop, I say I'm not. That's enough. I quit. Y'all are busting me out. Hey, look, bro. I'm just going to say this, bro, to all the rappers out there, all the up-and-coming rappers, my friends that are rappers, to myself, if I ever become a rapper, the words we use in the music affect everybody, especially our own. If you're a rapper out there of color, especially our own. We are some, for some reason, we are very impressionable. We are very, very impressionable. Especially from our own. But if one thing I can do to uplift us is to be careful with what, what you say. This is powerful. It, it holds a lot of weight, especially depending on where you where you are at. What is your status in society? And I'm not trying to have no pedestal or nothing here and, and preach or nothing. But I'm just saying... Be careful what you're saying out there. And uh, I know some of you know already, but it's just, it's nice to, it's refreshing to hear other people say it as well. And that's all. It's just like, a lot of people around you most of the time don't talk like this, bro. And it's sad that more conversations are happening like this where people get real and we can like have discussions and maybe like figure out some kind of solutions. That'd be nice. But I, I don't know. It's interesting, bro. Leave it, you know, leave comment, chat, whatever you want to do. Let me know something. Nigga, at some point, she don't want no more. That pussy done dried out after five, six niggas coming up with them big old dick. And nigga, in the fifth grade, I had a grown man dick. Yeah, nigga, I had a high school dick in the third grade. So imagine a fourth grade nigga with a high school dick trying to fuck a fourth grade. Pushing that, yeah, nigga. So when I look at the little nigga. I know know Buddy laughing or whatever, but he laughing at a light. I I know why he laughing, but it's it's like, it's funny the way he's saying it, but it's, it's like uncomfortable at the same time because it's like, it's so real, bro. It's like, wow. Like, we, like, I mean, me personally, I never heard that song or whatever, but like, I can understand what he's saying, bro. That shit is probably so influential to them. It's crazy. And I didn't even know that song existed, bro. That's like, (laughs) that's so bad. That came out nowadays, bro. That bro, you're getting torched. Like, you're done. But, like, buddy, you're shaking his head, but it's uncomfortable questioning, bro, because it really is. Like, that's, not, that's uncomfortable, bro. And it's just like, wow, when you really think about it, you're like, damn. Like, that nigga really made that song? He really sat there and made that song, bro. <laughs> like, that shit bonkers, bro. Like, Lil' King, that's in the strip clubs. I like to say, baby King, That's being bro. exposed to all this grown stuff. Imagine when he go play with them other little kids. I was a hunching little boy. You don't think that little nigga trying to get his dicks up? And he got the money to make these little poor... Come on now. Come on now. So our culture is not only a cycle of violence, it's also a rape culture. Mm. It's also a rape culture. Say, nigga, call them hoes over here, let's get them fucked up and drunk. That's rape, son. You cannot have sex with a girl when she's under the influence. That's rape. You cannot intentionally try to get her drunk. What we gonna do? We gonna spike the punch. The 12th graders go fuck the 9th graders as soon as they get to the high school. The seniors go fuck the freshmen. It's cultural, homie. But that- Dar, I didn't even think like that, bro. That shit's insane. I didn't even fucking calculate those measurements, bro. I didn't even know that's what niggas were plotting, bro. I thought that shit was normal back in the day, bro. Like, people spiking a punch, bro. That shit was a joke. It's a joke in fucking TV shows. Like, at least back then it was. I didn't, I didn't know that, like, I mean, I didn't know that was, like, you know, the plan they were doing that shit, bro, like, whenever they're, like, spiking the, dr- like, the, uh, the juice or whatever, money, I was trying to drink, bro, <laughs> that's how I'm like, oh, we drank it, like, that's it, like, I didn't, I'm like, oh, they put, they put alcohol in there, bro, like, let me get a sip, bro, like, that's, I, like, that's it, bro, I didn't expect nothing like that, like, that's wild, like, they had, all, like, actual plans, like, that's insane, bro, like, niggas out there thinking like that, bro, Hey, look, bro, you think like that, bro, don't even, don't even subscribe to the channel, but I don't want you on there. I don't, I don't want you in my, my streams, no thanks. Like, no ditties around here, bro, please. But, 
that shit's wild, bro. If y'all think you like that, bro, get help. But I, I was there for the for the, the vibes and the alcohol, bro. Like when I when I you know you trying to get the little sips in and stuff. Like, that's it, bro. Like y'all crazy out there, bro. Like Charleston White revealing like the secrets, and I and I know he had product of his time, bro. But damn, like, <laughs> bro, I that's didn't right. know it was like this. But nigga, we we accept it. Mm. So, nigga, I've been studying this culture, it. my nigga. And it's a negative culture. Don't have to accept it now. So, as a, so, when I see these niggas trying to make our children uphold the street codes, you calling a 12-year-old nigga a snitch. Nigga, you calling an 8th grader a snitch. I tell my kids, if somebody doing something to you at school, you go tell the teacher. They do it again, you hit them across the head. <laughs> but for my son to go tell his teacher, he have to be a snitch first, right? They go call him a snitch. Now you just putting protection around yourself so you don't get in trouble for responding to this shit. If a nigga threatening you in the streets and he a real killer, I tell him, nigga, go tell the police, nigga. Oh, you snitching on the nigga. Now don't worry about that, because now you can kill him. If you go report to the police, this nigga been threatening me, he doing this to me, now you can kill him. Bad motherfucker, because now I got some protection. Now I got some protection up under the law. But you want me to follow the rules that black people put in place, and all of the rules that black people try to project, they guarantee you lose. Oh, God, bro. Th Every that street rule. Bro, this nigga fucking is speaking, bro. Like, come on, man. Like, bro, this nigga just spoke, bro. Like, come on, bro. Like that, that was, that was bars, nigga. Like, come on, bro. That's straight up bars. Like, I, I know, I know y'all felt that, bro. W in the chat, bro. Ain't nobody in here, but W's in the chat. Like, damn, that shit's crazy. Let's hear some more wisdom. Guarantees bro. you lose. So why would I keep playing my rules that guarantee I lose, nigga? I play to win. So yeah, I tell on you, homie. So if we see each other again, I'm gonna shoot you in your ass. <laughs> I'm gonna shoot you in your ass. <laughs> But you're right though, bro. It's it's designed to to make you lose, bro. Just like whenever like like I don't know if y'all niggas ever been jumped, bro. But like, let's just say you out there walking, bro. You about to get jumped, bro. You feel me? Like they're like, oh, jump. You about to get jumped or whatever. Jump that nigga. Blah 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 blah. My nigga, you and you turn. Oh, bump my lip real quick with this glittery ass shit. But uh, you turn around, do a 180 real quick, and you pivot off that foot, ready to dip, right? And then you fucking stadaddle. You, you're darting, right? Them they just start following you. They're running. It's more than one. You feel me? They're after you. And then all of a sudden, you hear, stop running. And you gotta stop in your tracks now. And you gotta, you gotta pivot again. Another 180. And ask them they just, why the fuck they just told you stop running, bro? For what? For what? It's like, bro, you're about to get jumped by more... You're about to, you're about to have to fight more than one person, bro. Unless you that nigga. You know, you feel me? You that nigga, then cool. But, like... You, you're about to get dog dumb, my boy. Of course you need to run. Like, what else the fuck you don't do? Like, you don't stand there? Like, I, I don't understand. Like, it, it, it depends on what they're there for. What was the jumper you for? You know what I mean? Like, is it is it that, um, is it your time? Like, is it, if it's that one, then you better, you best be running. Like, I don't, I don't know why you're, you're already not. Why are we still having a conversation? Like, you should have already been, been darting off. But you know what I mean? It doesn't make any sense. Like, I don't know why you sit around in the first place. They're jumping you. Like, that, that, that is the goal. Like, you're, you're gonna get beat down. Like, and then there's no, um, there's no good outcome for you for that. So why would you stick around? Like, you're only hurting yourself. Or, I mean, they're gonna assist you in that. But you're only hurting yourself. So, I advise you to, to if you're not gonna snitch, run. At least, like, do something. Like, the, I, I wouldn't just stand there. Like, that's probably not your be in your best interest. Cause it can always get worse than the actual jumping. I'm, I'm coming back. Hold on. Uh, it can always get worse than the actual jumping. Like you could fucking get stabbed or something, bro. And they, you don't. They just with the switches, bro. Like you know they out there. Like they just get crazy. So don't start winning the jump jump match either, bro. Don't start winning, Mister Nigger, bro. Don't, don't don't start winning that shit. Cause once you start swinging and winning, oh, the, the ninjas might start upping that fire on you real quick. And that's that's the issue. You don't want that, bro. But let me let me get back to Charleston White, bro. So we 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 can have a whole another discussion another day, bro. Come to the streams yeah. and chat, then. Yeah, it's called self defense. So so have you ever told on somebody? Hell yeah, yeah he did, bro. When we committed that murder, nigga, my mama asked what happened. 
My mom and my lawyer asked what happened. Well, I was supposed to sit there and say, I ain't gonna snitch. I'm a 14-year-old kid, nigga. I've never been in trouble, and we got one of the highest charges that any human could be charged with, capital murder. And, that's and I don't even know what's going on. That's the only time? Uh, I can call the police on nigga plenty of time. The character? The man. Say, man, they outside shooting. Say, man, that man just hit that woman car and kept going. License plate, such and such, such and such. Yeah, nigga, I'm gonna report crime. Because I live right around her. Yeah, nigga, my neighbor house get broken into. I call the police. Yeah, so y'all yeah, done reported crime. What do you have to say about uh, when it comes to youth finding their way into their society to get to a bad today's society? Uh, Learn content creation. Uh, hey, tap in, bro. Tap in. I, I used to hear my mama say shit like, uh, and I, I don't understand the Bible, homie, so I never tried to read it. Uh, I always I always wanted to, to grab a hold of God's spirit. Uh, mama used to say some shit like, son, will you overcome everything by the power of your testimony? Well, your testimony is a story, your life story. So, nigga, these phones can get you rich off a of testimony, your life story. That's why you see so many prison niggas talking their stories. So I'm saying that we all on phones, and we all looking at phones, and the AI is going to replace human jobs, right? The AI won't be able to create content. So nobody's watching television. Everybody's watching this for content. So now we live in a content-driven society. You hardly see any young people creating content. But, nigga, if they put their phone down, their life is content, right? So... They just, they just gave a, 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 a financial report that content creation since the pandemic have grossed over $250 billion. That's you, we, say TV. So nigga, that's a lot of money creating content. And it's projected to double in the next five to 10 years. Nigga, why y'all ain't at that $250 billion? Why y'all looking at everybody else's content? This is what I'm saying to the young people. Nigga, learn digital creation. Nigga, learn, hey, learn this shit, young people. Stop being on this side of it. Because nigga say, nigga, I ain't gonna never tap be a slave. In, tap in, You're a bro. digital slave. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Y'all, nigga, you ain't going back in the chain. Your mind is gonna be trapped all day long on the plantation. So you are a digital slave. Learn how to make money off this motherfucker. It's too easy, my nigga. Find you some kids that can open some gifts, and you sit a phone down and watch that motherfucker play with a car. Man, them kids that your kids watching open toys, they are making millions of dollars, and you'll never know their name. Uh -huh. A nigga that know how to barbecue, supposed to have a motherfucking how to season meat, how to barbecue, how to get the wood started, that channel make money. A nigga that got an auto mechanics trade but don't got a shop, nigga can fix yards and cars in the backyard and have a whole channel on how to change an alternator, in, how bro. to change a tire. Nigga, them channel make way more money. The how tos do. So nigga, teach your kids how to create content. Nigga, make some money. Damn, bro, he dropped straight up fucking knowledge, bro. And I hope everybody was paying attention to it, bro, because it was solid advice, solid tips for anybody that does any miscellaneous activity, bro. Your life to be content, bro. It really is that simple, bro.